seven meters and soaring in the atrium of the Design Museum, all thanks to brainwaves. The weather balloon is controlled by visitors' minds. Their electric brain pulses power the robotics, which ultimately control the textile airship. And now we're gonna put on the EEG. Through virtual reality goggles, the pilot sees the balloon lift inside the atrium, go through the roof, and soar over West London. You see yourself sort of going out over Kensington. Um, yeah, you just, you just feel a bit like a balloon yourself, very light and airy, it's amazing. But the trick is to relax. The more relaxed your state, the more this balloon will, will soar and rise. So it's kind of based on sort of metaphors around sort of breath and meditation and this idea of like um, sort of consciously soaring and rising. It's a fun activity for the London Design Festival, but there are also practical applications. It can help those with tense minds learn how to relax, and it can provide soaring adventures for people who can't move. It's also a way for the museum to attract a different audience, new visitors who have no interest in sleek Scandinavian design. When you see a balloon, you're like, yeah, oh wow, joyful memories. I can, I can connect with that. It's cool, it's fun. The Mind Pilot is also about a more inclusive future, where people with varying physical abilities can become pilots, using their thoughts to fly. Jessica Baldwin, Al Jazeera, London.